Peggy 3. Hello and welcome to today's FM Friday feature blog for Football Manager 2014. Here we're looking at some major changes to how news is delivered to you in the game and how you interact with it. Your inbox is where you spend a lot of time dealing with club matters and we felt it was time to make some key changes that will help streamline your role as manager. To start with, the entire inbox panel has been revamped to make this area of the game clearer, easier to navigate around and prettier. There is a much larger right side panel on the screen to display lots of information applicable to the mail item, keeping more detail in one place so you don't need to navigate around the game to get this information. In addition to the brand new style of email and news, we've colour coded inbox items based on category so that it's instantly clear which messages are related to each category. You can now scan through your inbox and pick out important items easily and see what each item relates to. Transfer and match news items in particular are much more obvious to make sure you don't miss any important information throughout the season. The biggest change to the inbox section is what information is displayed within items and how you see it. Email items now feature more info, graphics and action buttons to allow you to deal with many club matters direct from your inbox. Here are just a few examples. Scout reports for an upcoming fixture are now shown inside a mail item rather than linking off to a separate screen so you can immediately check out the opposition from your inbox. Scout reports on players now contain a list of players with recommendations on every single player scouted, plus buttons so that you can shortlist or make an offer for any of the players. When you're offered a player by an agent, you'll be able to see his attributes within the email, so you can immediately assess whether he might be of interest. Match analysis is now plugged into mail item stories for post-match reports, and you can click through to view more details on the player of the match in addition to the usual match reports, overall match analysis, and match confidence, which looks at the boards and fans' reactions to player and club performances. We've also added more media speculation and excitement that comes with the manager movements. When a manager is sacked, there are now next manager odds, which show who the most favoured managers are to take over at a particular club. You can also see who the leading candidate for each job is on the Job Centre page, which shows who the likely next manager will be. You can also see the odds for the next manager to get sacked, with the three most likely sackings for each division being listed in the news item when a manager is sacked. Another advantage of the new info item layout is the ability to set a player's individual training focus within the item. If your assistant suggests your striker should work on his finishing, you then have the option to instantly change the focus of your striker's training and the intensity. Loan and transfer acceptance and rejection dialog now appears in your inbox, so you can accept and reject multiple offers direct from your inbox. There is also a new element of interactivity within mail items with the introduction of useful tools such as sortable tables in place of a static list. For example, when you receive scout reports on players, you can now sort the list by their ability stars. There are many other new additions to the inbox that give you as a manager more control over your squad and backroom staff than ever before, such as having the option to meet your squad when you first meet your assistant manager and introduce yourself to the players. You'll also receive emails from medical staff when players who you currently have out on loan get injured. This will allow you to make the decision on whether to recall the player so they can be looked after by your own medical team instead, if the details of the loan deal allow this, of course. Another new feature is when advertising for a new member of staff. Should you not receive an applicant you believe to be suitable, new applicants will be highlighted when the second round of applications come through. This will make it clear to you who the new applicants are, whilst also keeping previous applicants in case you fail to find anyone of a higher standard. In the past, the season summary has been very top line, but this year you'll receive much more information on how teams and players have performed during the season. The season review now picks up key moments of the campaign. There are many other new features within this area of the game as well, such as transfer clauses will now specify the amount of total appearances needed overall to meet a clause in a news item, so you can avoid paying these fees if you don't have the budget. Registration news will remind managers of which players in their squad aren't currently registered to play, and also when a player confirms his retirement, there will now be an action button to save the player's history, so you can keep a record of your greatest players. The email section in FM14 is better than it's ever been. More streamlined, but with extra variety in messages on similar items and logical ordering of emails with completely consistent action buttons throughout. It's all designed to save you time and bring all areas of the game together on one screen to provide you with a fully integrated and interactive experience when they're playing Football Manager 2014. 
i.e. now, when multiple players return from loan spells, these will all appear in one mail item. Finally for today, we've given the news home screen a redesign in a way that segregates key news, events, transfers and results into a much more easily digestible layout. We hope you're going to enjoy the FM experience even more with these changes. Be sure to keep up to date with both the FM Twitter feed at Football Manager and my own at MilesSI account for even more new feature announcements every day between now and the release of the game to keep you fully informed of what you can expect for Football Manager 2014. You can also find a weekly update on our website at footballmanager.com.